Okay, we'll ask a question. There was a well-known uh, takfiri named Abu Muhammad al-Maqdasi. And it's said that he was a student of Sheikh al-Albani. And being that the Sheikh, you know, he's been a student of Sheikh al-Albani from the early 70s, we want to ask him this question, if there's any truth in this matter. So, this is the question that we have in our lives, which is Abu Muhammad al-Maqdasi. المقدسي يدعي أنه كان من تلاميذ الشيخ ناصر يعني من الأوائل السابقين وبهذه يعني الدعوة يعني يتقبل أو تقبل عليه وجه الشباب وهذه صارت حجة عنده عند يعني قلوبهم كذلك فباعتبار أنت من تلاميذ الشيخ مباشرة وهذا الأمر يعرف وهو معروف ما قولك في هذا ادعاء ادعاء أبي محمد المقدسي لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله هذا الذي نقوله There is no power no might except Allah and this is what I say about this الآن الكل يدعي أنه تلميذ للألباني حتى يروج بضاعته Many people claim during this time that they are students of الإمام الإباني so that they can traffic in their innovation and spread it. And if a person sat with a Sheikh Al Albani one time, just sat one time, does that qualify him and constitute him being a student of Al Albani? هل هو موافق للألباني في عقيدته وفي منهجه؟ and then after that this issue of sitting one time after that we're going to ask is his aqida consistent with the aqida of a sheikh al Albani is his minhaj also parallel with the minhaj of al Albani or is his aqid and minhaj in conflict to what Al Albani was upon Rahmatullahi Alayhi? So this person, Abu Muhammad al Maqdasi, he himself claiming that he's a student of Al Albani, he's the one who criticizes Al Albani and he talks about and against Al Albani. And he criticizes him and he says, and he says about him that he is a person who was murji'ah, from the people of Al-Irja. He's the one who criticizes Al-Albani and says that Al-Albani doesn't make takfir of the hukam. So he blames Al-Albani in a way that is not acceptable. So the one, so the one who claims he is a student of Al-Albani then let him respect the Sheikh and let him be upon the minhaj that the Sheikh was upon and let him be consistent and upon Al-Albani's aqidah and his minhaj and the da'wah that he called to أما أن يخالفه في كل شيء ثم يدعي أنه من تلاميذ الألباني. As for the one who he is in conflict and contradiction to Al Albani's way in everything that Al Albani represented and was upon, and then he comes and claims he's a student. فهذا غير صحيح أبدا. The Sheikh said this is not correct. It's not true. It's not right. Never is it correct. It's not sahih. Okay, I've got one more question that's come to me. Uh, I don't know if you have time for this. You ask if he's got time because we have to pray Salat al-Dhuhr as well. It's about the taqsim. You know, here in the West, they classify the Salafis as Salafi siyasi, uh, political Salafis, uh, jihadi Salafis, and Puritan Salafis. Um, we, we want to know, what, is, there, is there such thing as a jihadi Salafi and political Salafi? These two, just these two, a comment, on the, a comment, a quick comment on these two categories. Oh, Fahim, because he went like this. Fahim, sure. Fahim, sure. Salafi, 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 Sal
الشيخ سيد ذيس از ا بيت اوف ا بروبلم الان اذا ذهبنا الى اللي بيسموا جهاديين اف وي ونت تو ذا بيبل هو كول ذيم سيلفز جهاديز لايك ايسيز اند بيبل يقولوا نحن تلاميذ ابن تيميه بي سي بيبل اوف اوكي ذا شيخ سيد اف You go to the people of Daesh. You go to these people. They're going to say that we are students of Ibn Taymiyyah. نعم. هؤلاء يقولون نحن تلاميذ ابن تيمية ويأخذ فكر ابن تيمية ولكن يأخذون ما يريدون ويتركون الذي عليهم ويأخذون الذي لهم وهذا يعني مشكلة كبيرة جدا. هم يقولون والله احنا تلاميذ لابن باز ولا تلاميذ لابن القيم ولا ابن عثيمين، هل ابن عثيمين يقول بالتكفير؟ هل الشيخ ابن باز يقول بالتكفير؟ هل ابن تيميه رحمه الله يقول بالتكفير؟ هذا غير صحيح ابدا ايها الاخوه. الان هذه التقسيمات والله سلفي جهادي، سلفي سياسي سياسي، سلفي هذه التقسيمات غير صحيحه ابدا. السلفي الصحيح هو الذي يتبع كتاب الله وسنة رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الآن في تكفيريين في خوارج وهذا الذي كنا نقول لابد هذه الأسماء أن تظهر ولا يقال سلفيين بماذا سلفيين انتبهوا ربما بإثبات الأسماء والصفات ربما بإثبات الهوية أو الربوبية وهكذا أما إثبات المنهج أيها الإخوة الخوارج الذين يكفرون بالمعصية الخوارج الذين قتلوا علي بن أبي طالب الخوارج الذين قتلوا عثمان رضي الله عنه الخوارج الذين قاتلهم علي بن أبي طالب عقيدتهم تقريبا في الأسماء والصفات في الالوهيه في ربما هي موافقة أما أن نقول هؤلاء سلفيون هذا يعني غير صحيح أبدا ولهذا يريد ان يمرروا منهجهم وعقيدتهم يقول والله احنا تلاميذ لابن تيميه احنا ناخذ من ابن تيميه او ناخذ من الذهبي او ناخذ من محمد بن عبد الوهاب او ناخذ من ولكن اذا دققت الكلام تجدهم يخالفونهم مخالفه كبيره جدا ما عليك يا شيخ ما علي The Sheikh said that uh, in reality, Ikhwani, um, this is something that is not the case and it is something that is not the reality. And that is because we find that some of these people, they are making a connection and many claims that are not true and they're not consistent with reality because I give an example. They say that they are The people of Daesh, they're the students of Ibn Baz, the students of Ibn Al-Qayyim, the students of Sheikh Ibn Al-Thaymeen, Rahmatullahi Ta'ala, Alayhim Ajma'een. But now the question is, but does though, do, did those scholars that they are mentioning make wholesale jihad, uh, takfir like them, excommunicate the Muslims because those Muslims made mistakes or something. So did we find those scholars who they claim a connection to doing the same thing in the same way that they're doing? He said, the answer is no. It's not something that is true. He says, so this categorization and the way that these people are describing a serifia, this is serifi jihadis. And this one is serifi, um, the serifis of of politics, for an example. The Sheikh said, this is not acceptable and it's not true because a salafia is a way, it's a minhaj. It's a scholastic way and approach to practicing and understanding the religion. He said that the khawarij, these people, have always made takfir of the Muslims. Said Muslims are not Muslims because they make major sins. And this is not part of the salafi minhaj for someone to make takfir on Muslims just because they made sins the ways these people do. So what they're doing is not correct. He said, and how did they become Salafis? How is it a Salafi jihadi? What makes him Salafi? How? How did that happen? 
He said, it may be, it may be that the person who was from Daesh, he may, in the issue of the Tawheed of Allah's names and attributes, he may establish for Allah the names and the attributes that Allah and his message established for himself. And he may do that. But that alone doesn't constitute him being called or referred to as being Salafi. He said, no. He said, you know the Khawarij, the Khawarij, the first Khawarij, they are, um, used to disobey Allah by saying Muslims during that time. Even from the companions, they said that they were now Muslims for mistakes that they made. The Khawarij, the first ones. They fought against Ali ibn Abi Talib, tried to kill Ali ibn Abi Talib, and the companions who were with him, and the people who were with him. They killed Uthman ibn Affan, and they killed Ali ibn Abi Talib. He said that Ali fought, fought against them. Ali fought against them because they were evildoers. Those people who fought against Ali and killed him and killed Uthman and fought against some of the companions, he said, it's conceivable that some of them, they understood Allah's tawheed. His oneness and his names and his attributes. It's possible that those Khawarij knew that. But because they knew that aspect of a Tawheed, do they now become on the right way? Are they from the Salaf now? Are they from the people on the right way? The Sheikh said, no, they're not. Because they went against one of the basics of the Minhaj of Salafi. He says, so this is something that is not correct. These people use these terms in order to be accepted by the masses, in order to trick them. So they come and they say, we follow Al-Imam Al-Dhahabi. We follow Al-Imam Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab. We follow Al-Imam Ibn Taymiyyah. So that when people hear that, the people will be tricked and, and, and deceived. He said, but if you took the time, you really, really looked at the situation, with precision and very carefully and closely, you'll find that what they're upon, what they're calling to, is diametrically opposed to the correct way of the Salaf. In 2006, for about 13 years, I was able to get the Prime Minister Abdul Aziz, the Prime Minister of the Saudi Arabia, in the Sunnah and the Prime Minister of the Prime Minister of the Sunnah and the Prime Minister. والتقيت بالامير نايف رحمه الله عليه وقلت له يا سمو الامير لماذا لا تسمون الاسماء باسمائها لماذا لا تقولون الخوارج هؤلاء الذين يكفرون والذين يقتلون والذين يذبحون باسم الاسلام انتم تقولون عنهم كانوا يقولون الفئه الضاله فقلت له يا سمو لماذا لا تسمونهم بالخوارج هؤلاء خوارج حتى يتميز الأمر ويعرف أن هؤلاء ليسوا على منهج أهل السنة ما نقول ولا فرق ضالة فقط بل قولوا الخوارج وقال إن شاء الله إن شاء الله ولكن للأسف نعم. The Sheikh said in 2006, so that's about 13 years ago, he received a, a, an award from uh, the Amir Naif Abdul Aziz there in. Um, Saudi Arabia, he was a recipient of an award because of a thing that he wrote about um, the Sunnah al Nabawiya. So he gave the khidmah and the service to the Sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, and to show appreciation for what he did, he received this award. And as a result of receiving the award, he had the opportunity to meet with the Amir there who is Prince Naif, one of the more senior, powerful emirs. He said while he was sitting with him, he asked him the question. He asked the emir, uh, respected emir, when you people here in Saudi Arabia, you talk about these people, uh, Daesh and all of these people, you guys, you describe them as al-fi'ah, al-dala, the misguided group, their misguided group. He said, why do you call them that? He said, why not identify them as their reality is? And their reality is they're the Khawarij. They're from the Khawarij. If you just call them the Fi'a Abbala, the misguided group, it doesn't give the impact and the understanding of their reality. He said, you should call them the Khawarij. 
He said that the Amir said, inshallah, we'll do it. The reason why the Sheikh said that is, if he's telling someone who has power to call them khawarij, don't call them anything other than khawarij. That's what they are. That's their minhaj. Then clearly he's saying, in contrast, by default from that, they can't be Salafi if they're from the khawarij. So he was trying to put that point across to make that uh, point to everybody. Okay, alhamdulillah.